hi everyone so let's look at question 5 from tutorial sheet um, from tutorial sheet 5 so the question says suppose that a certain uh, substance has the half-life of 20 years if there if there are presently 2500 milligrams of substance then the equation uh, this use the amount remaining after t years how much remains after how much remains after 40 years so what you so i mean how you solve this question is uh, similar to the way we solved question four so here we'll just be replacing what is t we put 40 so we're going to have q of 40 there in this equation what is uh, t we put 40 so I have two we have two raised to power negative t so meaning we're having negative 40 and then divide by 20 so this is just the same as negative half two and then two raised to uh, sorry not negative half but negative two so we're going to have 2500 multiplied by 2 raised to power negative 2. So this is just the same as 2500 and then divide by 4, something like this. So we're going to have 4 into 25. We have, uh, is it 6? And then 4 into 10, we have, we are remaining with 1 this side. 4 into 10, we have 2. And then 4, and 2 remainder, 2. 4 into 20, we have 5. So this is the, these are the remains. I mean, this this is the, yeah, this is what remains after 40 years. And then let's also find Q of, 50 years so q of 50 years so we say q 50 is equal to we say 2500 uh, 2 raised to power negative 50 over 20 yeah so you reduce that and then you find the final answer so applies to the last part here which is uh just q of a to one so q of a to one is equal to two thousand five hundred and then we said two raised to power negative a to one over um over twenty then you simplify that you are done all right so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial uh just kindly yeah wait for the next videos that i'm going to be sending yeah so i'm preferring do uh, i'm doing this uh, i'm solving questions by questions like this because i mean i'm solving them i'm recording the what's this the tutorial videos because there's some people that are failing to attend uh classes so yeah they are failing to attend my classes so i think this is the best way of them uh, not missing out what we are learning in class yes so and for those that I'm taking online this is why you rely so make sure that you concentrate on this and then if you have any questions feel free to inbox me and then I'll respond to you okay see you in the next video which is uh, uh, question 6